The science is crystal clear. Time is running out. Risks are existential. To have a chance of a stable planet for future generations, we need to cut emissions by half by 2030 and then continue cutting them by half each decade. Six to seven percent reductions in emissions each year to a zero carbon world economy by mid-century in only 30 years time. The carbon budget is nearly consumed. We only have, according to the latest IPCC assessment, 400 to 500 billion tons of carbon dioxide left. That's less than 10 years of emissions at current levels. We've entered the last decisive decade for humanity's future on planet Earth. The implications of the IPCC AR6 report is an absolute stop on all investments in fossil fuels. Now is the transformative exponential moment. All countries need to upgrade their national mitigation plans to align them with science, not to share burden, but to unlock innovation across all economic sectors. But that in itself is not enough. To succeed in delivering a world well below two degrees, aiming for 1.5 degrees Celsius, we need to keep all the nature carbon stocks and flows intact. We know that so far nature has absorbed 56% of our human emissions from fossil fuel burning and degrade, degradation of nature. Carbon uptake must increase in nature by investing in regenerative sustainable forestry and agriculture, an agricultural revolution over the next one generation. So nature-based solutions and fossil fuel free world economy are the simultaneous pathways we need to take for the future if we want to have a safe and just space for humanity within a manageable planet. Nobody wants to walk backwards into the future. That is what fossil fuels and climate destruction is. The light is zero carbon nature positive. That is where future modernity is. That's where economy, jobs, equity, stability, and health is. In short, our necessary and desired future.